The Kaneta U8 is the next generation KU band satellite terminal for communication on the move. Leveraging Kaimeta's revolutionary metamaterials-based technology, the U8 antenna has been re-engineered for increased antenna performance and adaptability to address customers' needs. Building on the field-tested, best-in-class electronic beam steering technology, the Kaimeta U8 is even better, simple to install, and easy to use. In this video, we'll show you how to do a simple mobile installation on a standard mid-sized SUV. The U8 Mobility Package includes the U8 Terminal, the U8 Vehicle Powers Accessory Kit, and the U8 Vehicle Mount. To complete the installation, you'll need a flathead screwdriver, wire cutters, wire crimpers, a 6mm hex key, an 8mm hex key, and electrical tape. No specialty tools are required to complete the installation. To begin, attach the two mounting rails to the U8. Be sure that the embossed Kaimeta logo on the mounting rails face out from the U8. Secure the rails into the back of the U8 with the provided M10 bolts. Next, strip about an inch of wire casing from the flying leads coming out of the U8, and then attach the weatherproof splicers. For each splicer, remove the protective caps from the splicer back out the securing screw, insert the cable, and tighten the securing screw to secure the cable. Next, prepare your vehicle's crossbars for the U8 installation. Install crossbars on your vehicle roof per manufacturer's instructions. Adjust your crossbars so they are approximately 1,010 millimeters or 39.75 inches apart as measured from the center of each bar. With a partner, carefully lift the U8 onto the vehicle. Adjust the U8 so it sits in the center of the vehicle rack. Starting from the back, using the M8 socket head cap screws and accompanying nuts. Fasten the clamp bottoms to the rails. Tighten each screw a few turns at a time to ensure the clamps remain relatively level and the spacing between the clamps and the rails are even front to back. To install the locking mechanism, place the bolt cover on the clamp bottom as shown. Insert the padlock shackles through the wide slot and slide the left side of the shackle into the hole as shown. Now that your U8 has been mounted onto the car, you can integrate the U8 into the electrical system of the car. To begin, open the hood and access the car battery. Disconnect the ground terminal from the battery to avoid accidental electric discharge. Remove the ground, power, and accessory, or ACC, cable from the accessory kit. Unfurl the cables and run them up the battery in the engine compartment to the flying leads of the U8. Locate a suitable location in the engine compartment to ground the terminal. Use the wire cutters to trim the ground wire to the appropriate length. Route the power cable to the car battery, add an additional foot, and trim with wire cutters. The extra foot will allow for the installation of a fuse at a later step. Locate the wire shielding and cut it in half using the wire cutters. Starting from the end near the U8, Work the wire shielding over the ground wire so that it protects the wire as it runs along the windshield. Tape each end of the wire shielding to the ground wire using electrical tape. Tape the ACC wire to the main power wire. Then run the other half of the wire shielding over the two wires so that it protects the wires as they run up the windshield. Tape each end of the wire shielding to the power and ACC wire with electrical tape. Next, take out the cable tie mounts and apply them along the cable run. Use the provided cable ties to secure the cable to the cable tie mounts on the vehicle. Using the wire cutters, strip the end of each cable near the U8. Continue to secure the cables up to the roof rack leading to the U8. 
and then trim with wire cutters. Using the wire cutters, strip the end of each cable near the U8. Install each cable into the weatherized cable splices on the end of the U8. Next, we will be installing ring terminals onto the cables and connecting them to the car's battery. Remove the bolt at the ground location and set it aside. Strip the end of the ground cable and install a ring terminal. Attach the ring terminal to the identified ground location on the vehicle. Open the provided 100 amp circuit breaker and find a suitable location to mount it near the battery. Trim the leftover power cable to connect from the positive battery terminal to the circuit breaker. Strip both ends of the short power cable and install a ring terminal on each end. Install the long power cable and short power cable to the circuit breaker. Make sure the circuit breaker is switched to the off position and attach the short power cable to the positive terminal on the battery. Secure the circuit breaker in the engine compartment. For the next step, consult your vehicle manual and find an acceptable location to connect your ACC line. This connection should provide 12 volts of current when the car is turned on. For this installation, we are splicing into an auxiliary power outlet located between the driver and passenger seat. Locate a place to pass the ACC wire into the vehicle. This wire will ensure that the U8 powers on with the car's accessories and turns off automatically when the car shuts off. Use a long rigid object to help run the ACC wire from the engine compartment to the inside of the vehicle. Tape the ACC line to the rigid object and feed it through to the interior of the car. Tape the ACC line to the power cable in the engine compartment to help secure it in the engine compartment. With the ACC line passed through the interior of the vehicle, run the cable under the upholstery to the auxiliary power outlet. Splice the small 5 amp inline fuse to the positive line leading to the auxiliary power outlet. Apply electrical tape to protect the connection. Strip the end of the inline fuse, trim and strip the end of the ACC line, and connect the two with the butt splice. Reattach the auxiliary power outlet and re-secure the upholstery and other covers. Finally, switch the circuit breaker in the engine compartment on to arm the U8. Reconnect the battery ground, replace the cover, and close the hood. When you turn on your car, the U8 automatically comes online. Congratulations, your vehicle is now enabled with the most advanced SATCOM hybrid system on the market.